And not everybody I go like we I go like Still we ivory Come in on love likes mm. In a dance all style And not everybody I go like Still we ivory Come in a love likes No, so every time I rise We do it for the love and I do it for the likes Do it for the love Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Junk. Uh, right today here. is my Sunday commentary. I'm doing it from early. Yes, today is Friday. Okay, so what I'll be doing now, I'll be talking about an uh, issue that many persons may have. Uh, I've always watched where niche persons ramble with regards to the pet shop in which exists near to the whether it be pet or whether it be another pet shop, right? Uh, one, one thing you you should remember persons that who are intimately involved in pet care and love their pets and all that tend to know a lot more about pets so therefore they, they care about pets are much different than persons who are just doing it for business on youtube many persons try to earn a money many persons try to earn a living right they are of the opinion that if they can just do a couple of videos they can make a little money and they can move on with their life so some persons get some fish and they put into a tank and they start to talk about rambling over and over they say the same thing about the fish over and over and over, and over. nothing new and nothing really stands out to say that boy this person is a very good fish keeper as a result of that issues with regards to the real purpose as why a person is actually on youtube himself or herself and what they have to offer the community there's a song by chronics in jamaica uh, i will put a link to the video below do it for the love and do it for the like whenever you love something you tend to spend all and you tend to not necessarily spend meaning money but you tend to want to exert all your energy into that what you like so as to improve it so as to make it stand out right if you if you like a puppy if you like a dog if you like a cat you then show that you go to the pet store and you are the, the farm store and you you purchase all the necessary whether it be meds whether it be feed whether it be color whether it be clothing whatever it be you go and you for that however if you are only interested in that dog breeding to give you puppies so that you may sell them and get some money you'll find that you just do it because you like to get the money not necessarily because you love what you're doing many persons on youtube are like that if you are like that you will not get far and person will see through this mirror after a while myself as i said in my i think my experience video, as a fish hobbies is not one that actually came up as a result of me, me wanting to be rich but well, it came up as a result of a long time dream of mine to hone a lot of fish from different different species right now for you to actually give the necessary care ensuring that it live as long as it should live you should get to know your fish you should spend time researching your fish if you know you live in an a climate or a country where in which it will require you to get a heater it will require additional support for the fish so that the fish may survive you need to get this done and if you think that you're lazy and you, you, you're just not wanting to do this work don't bother with that get a dog or a puss right or better yet uh, I see my daughter playing this thing um, Angelia, Angel, Angelia or something like that where in which it, it, it's like a post but it's like a digital thing and you, you like you feed it electronically you feed it or whatever you get something like that because what happened is that having a pet mean that you take on with it this added responsibility right to feed it to ensure that well it's taken care of as far as housing is concerned if you have your fish tank and you do not know how to take care of it fine you can learn but this is my advice learning is a process in jamaica we go to different stages of our educational development we go to a development called 
basic school. In some parts of the world, they call it kindergarten, and that is from age three to five. At age five, you go to what you call primary school. Some persons may call it elementary school. At age 12, you go to high school, right? And high school spans between 12, age 12, and age 80. It depends on whether or not you're going to go into uh, 12th grade or 11th or 13th grade, which is what we call sixth form. Then you move on to university. So therefore, it's a process. Having fish within your own little space is like that. It takes some means of time, dedication, effort for you to take care of that fish to ensure that that fish is kept healthy. If you are having struggles taking care of one fish, why go out and purchase two tanks and get several fish? If you are on YouTube just to get money, it makes no sense. Because if you are on YouTube to get money, that means you will not be loving the fish as you're supposed to love the fish right you 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 will be you know, just say okay i'm doing this because i'm gonna get money i'm doing this because i'm gonna get money and as soon as i get the money it's like you don't really care about the fish it's like an actor right who is acting a part uh to love a lady or to love a man but after the show has actually ended you know the actor actually gone his or her way um, living his or her life, living, you know, it's, it's like a different realm, a different world in which you live in. We should not be like that as humans because the fish did not ask to be caught. The fish was in the wild, the fish was in the fish store. I advise you that if you do not like the idea of working, if you do not like the idea of, of uh, changing water, feeding, ensuring sure that, that the water is, 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 is crystal clear, uh, taking care of the young all of that get another hobby because you'll find that fish care requires a lot of work that is my own opinion on youtube you should be sharing content you should be helping others to understand to it's, it's, it's my family. regular opinion right that on youtube you share opinions you learn and you move on so as to help to strengthen what you have, right? Now, many persons are doing for the life, they don't do it for the love, meaning that they're just, doing it, they're just in it for the fame, right? I do not know, I do not know if next year, at this point in time, I will be on YouTube. I do not know if my subscriber, I do not know if my watch time will increase. I do not know if my views will increase. But what thing I do know is that all that you, all that I have to offer, on YouTube is being done all right one thing I know is that I'm learning a lot regardless you have one subscriber you have 10 views whatever some things that you put out there and you share with me I use it and I sometimes I put certain twist to it and I end up coming out with a, a different result than you because remember you live in a different country than I do right and and so therefore what applies to you in your country might not apply to me in my country However, YouTube offers you the opportunity to broadcast yourself. And if you are broadcasting yourself and others actually see you and like what you're doing, you will be successful. Fish keeping, person says, is a hobby. But really and truly, it's a work because it requires a lot. And anything which exhorts physical as well as mental effort, according to the social sciences is regarded as work. Work requires physical as well as this is really effort for Sunday commentary. I hope that you gather some means of sense on what I'm saying. And what I'm saying now is that you should be in the fish keeping hobby because you love it. You should be in the fish keeping hobby because you have something to share. You have some likeness for fish not necessarily because you want to come on youtube and you know show off what you have and, and all that right uh, let me know your comments on on, on my my rambler a while ago right um rally here and you can hit me up with the email below uh you can share your comments i i am not i'm not close to criticism i have been criticized before 
So if you criticize me, no problem. But let it be constructive. And tell me what you don't like. And then tell me how I can change what I what you don't like. So that instead of making the same mistake over and over, at least I can add what you have to say to my character so that I may be a different or should I say improved person. Rally here. Bye bye.